Being a Bassmaster Elite Series Pro is not all sunshine and rainbows. Every tournament brings a new set of challenges. Your next paycheck is never guaranteed. Day in and day out, the world's most talented and intimidating anglers stand in your way. You have to find a way to be great every single day. Providing for your family means survival in this sport. Finding your way into the cut on every lake in America. This is Life on the Cut Line. Spot of bass. No, and I fish some good ones. Yeah. Uh huh. That's exactly right. I, I went and fished a point, and uh, they were schooling behind me. Throw over there and can't get a bite. Yeah. Dude, I found a road bed down here. That, <laughs> dude, every time you throw a 1.5, you hook a shad. There's so many. And I can't get a bite. I, I come back to it now and I'm both shaking it on it. <laughs> well, I mean, I just got back here. But yeah, I, I don't get it. You might go up there and pull it, see if you can get bit without them pulling water, just see. Yeah, grass. Uh, I kind of both, but most of my bites seem like they were on the edges. And, and I mean, if you if you saw a lay down, it was like a 70% chance you get a bite. Yeah, it looks like cabbage. I don't know, I haven't got a bite in that. There's fish in it, I've seen them spook out of it. I ain't got any bites in there. I knew there was some bass right here. That's a keeper. Yeah, it's a small spot. Yeah. It broke me off. Here, let me uh, figure this out. I'll hold it. Tusa. <laughs> Tusa. I bet you can come catch these things later. Right? There's 
threw it right on like three of them up there. Must not be bass. Look like a bed right there. I can't tell if there's a fish on it or not. So good, I gotta go. I gotta go to when I can see. I found one like way up this creek uh, on bed. I said, That's all I did to see. I take it back. I did. squirrely acting that day I'm like that thing ain't gonna be there <laughs> yeah but it might have been fresh it was shallow and I hit it
think I'm gonna give you a lot of points this week. I think I can catch eight eight pounds first day off bed. I found them the first day. I had to go back to see if they're still there. I feel like they're probably not. I ain't found no good ones. The first day I found like legitly get 20 yards. I could have caught probably 22 pounds. Really? And it was, but it was a buck female, buck female, buck female. And the females were all like six, seven. Really? Like big something. But I looked the rest of the day and never saw another one. What end of the lake was that on? Up here. Yeah. But then I, but then I, seriously, after I saw that, I'm like, shit, I'm just gonna try to find like bucks anyway. You know, yeah. They might stay. Never saw him. I ain't seen nothing like that. That was the only time I saw it. I, and I seriously could power pole down fish for all three of them. Thanks. But then I mean, that was the first day though. So. Yeah. I always hate. I always hate looking the first day, but you got to. Do what? I always hate looking the first day. I wasn't even looking. I just have to. There's brim heads everywhere, but apparently bass don't eat brim. Dude, I, if they ate brim here, this would be a fun tournament. And then, I've seen like a, a fish here and there sitting on one. But yeah, like, or around it. But yeah, but they're not and, but they're not even like pissed off like a brim bed fish. Like, yeah. Over there, they don't like. Yeah. Don't you normally catch? You normally like throwing a prop bait? I like throwing a prop bait. Problem frog? Really? I used to always throw a popper, and then you lose too many. Yeah. And they'll buy a brush rod the same. You catch every one of them. Oh. Yeah, it is. This is a bass, it's a giant drum. God, it felt good for this one. Woo! Woo! I didn't want to go.
Oh, one more better one. Make sure to take a limit of those. I mean, dude, this is, this is the deal, or a deal. <clears throat> Looks like a pretty nice one. On the bed, it is. On the bed, I believe. I mean, it didn't just like sit there, like, it, you know, it swam off of it, but. How do you get a bite? I don't fucking know. This might be the worst place I've ever been to. I was going back there to look and then I was like, wait a minute, is that a boat coming out of there? Ain't nothing back there. Huh? Ain't nothing back there. There was, yesterday there was one brim bed back there that had five of them on it and uh, there ain't a damn one left up there. I don't get it. I think you could catch them if these did eat brim. I don't know if they do. I mean, some of them have to. I don't know. Did Cobb go back and check his females? They gone? He said there's a new pair in there. No, I just, I just run all the way down here from the tail race. You went to the tail race? Yeah. It yeah. Lisa. You said she came. She came over there to cut his hair. All right. Well, we're wrapping up practice, rigging some rods here at Lay Lake, and it um, <laughs> it's a lot tougher than than I was expecting. Um, the whole. Just go down the bank throwing a swim jig, get bit, this is not the case. Uh, it's hard to just get a bite um, of any size, really. And uh, I mean, there is a shad spawn, a pretty good little shad spawn, but we're not blasting off until 6.30, and I mean, it's kind of done at like, 6:15. So that uh, 
that puts a kink in everything but still it's so hard to get a bite after that like you've got to fish shad spawn um, so that's the plan we got one little place we're gonna go fish first thing and then we're taking off going down the lake we got some bedding fish we're going to hopefully catch fill our limit there and then I guess we're just gonna look because I don't know how to get a bite just fishing um, if we could get you know like 10 pounds pretty early um, I'll look for a good little while and then probably run up that river and uh, at least go fish that stretch up there um, just because I mean I had quite a few bites pretty quick on a crankbait up there and I know I could have slowed down and, and pitched something and got some more but I don't know and just look for some fish on bed I uh I had what I, I thought it was a three pound male, which isn't a big fish for this place, but one's on bed, that's a big one this week. Um, went and checked this afternoon, it was gone. Uh, there was some other nice ones just swimming around in there and a couple more on bed. And I think I can throw this little wacky rigged sensation trick stick around snag a couple of them so that's what we're gonna do do that and just pitch a quarantine crawl and fight and frog around and cross our fingers hope we get lucky if we get a four pounder we'll be golden Day number one here at uh, Lay Lake. Uh, we're boat 56, I think, um, doing it at four o'clock. So we got a, got a pretty good little long day. Um, there's a little bit of cloud cover. So hopefully that, that chat spawn is maybe still going on and we can catch one or two real quick. Uh, that's gonna be key. We're gonna start down the river, um, you know, try to catch a couple on chat spawn, then run to some bedding fish and, and cross our fingers. After, uh, you know, if we can catch a limit on the, the first stop, or the, with the first two stops, then I don't really know what we're gonna do. We'll probably just look all day um, and hope to find one four pounder. And uh, that'll be our bag, but I don't know. We're gonna get after it, see what we can, what we can make happen. That's what it's gonna be. It's gonna be a grind. We just gotta put our head down and go fishing. All right, here we are, day one, Lay Lake. Man, it has been a grinder. I have tried to shad spawn, I've fished deep, I've fished up the river, uh, swam a jig, everything that the Coosa is known for. And these fish are just in a funk right now. I, uh, I think there's still some spawning, um, and they're in that post-spawn funk right after they're done, and it is sure gonna be a grinder. Um, we're gonna, you know, go sight fishing today and see if we can get off to a good start. There's not any big ones up there, but a good bag here is anywhere 12 pounds or more. And uh, we'll see if we can get, get that and get going and uh, see where it puts us. Florida, Drew Benton, like red line. Having a 
another great season on the Bass Master Elite Series. Comes in and in second place in the Progressive Bass Master Angler of the Year standing. It's Elite Series champion, Drew Cook. Next up, a five. Just a couple of minutes. That one's still there? I don't I don't know, I didn't get to fish for them. Four boats started in there this morning. I was the third one. <laughs> what <do you> got? <laughs> About five pounds. 
what you got. The bait wasn't in his mouth. From the magazine, from the website, from the office. It's kind of, remember when you were in high school, you could buy your way out of school for the day to go cheer on a team? <laughs> nice. <laughs> semi-final Saturday, a two-time Elite Series champion took a win earlier this year from Panama City Beach, Florida, Drew Benton. Five fish here today for the now two-time Elite Series champion. Five fish today, six pounds, 12 ounces, puts you in 43rd place, and a lot of times in pro fishing, the weight does not equal the work. <laughs> no, we, I worked my butt off for that six pounds. I, that might be the smallest limit I've weighed in on this stage, but I'm, I'm proud to have them. It was a grind out there today. Hopefully uh, we can make an adjustment. I saw a couple big ones this afternoon that I could catch, so uh, maybe we can catch those tomorrow and get off to a good start. Well, it's great to have you here. We'll see you back here tomorrow. Let's <laughs> Pretty good back for Sabine. <laughs> We'll find out tomorrow. See you back here at 6.30 tomorrow morning. Let's bring out a former Dakota Lithium Rookie of the Year, a former Elite Series champion in the top three in Progressive Bassmaster Angler of the Year points, Drew Cook. Five fish here today. Five fish for eight pounds, 11 ounces, puts you in 58th place right now, but you have a incredibly cute fish caddy up here with you. Yeah, this is about the best thing I've seen all day. You know, I, all year I haven't had one of those days, um, and today I had one of those days, lost them, broke them off, whatever. Uh, could go wrong, did go wrong. But hopefully that that's the last one of those days we have for the rest of the year. I think we'll be all right. We gotta catch us a a bunch tomorrow uh, to make up some ground, but we looked at one dam today. We're going to look at the other one tomorrow. 
Go do it. Well, we'll see you guys later. And mm -hmm. give me five. No. Look, 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 look. Oh, that was forced. Cute smile, though. <laughs> We just wrapped up day one here at Lay, and it was a absolute struggle. I uh, caught four, you know, fairly quick off bed, and, um, and then went a long, 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 long time um, without catching one. And with about seven minutes to go, uh, caught my fifth keeper thankfully and uh, we had eight pounds 11 ounces we are currently in 83rd place so not good we are not gonna do that tomorrow we're gonna do something different probably stay closer and just spend our time fishing instead of running around and probably we'll run up the river um, and fish that stuff, but got to catch a big bag tomorrow. Got to catch 14 pounds. 14 pounds, make the cut, save some points. That's 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 the name of the game for tomorrow. Points, 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 points. Tomorrow, I'm doing something else. I'm gonna fish shad's spot in the morning. I'm gonna go down there. Dude, I got one that might be eight pounds. Really? Mm-hmm. It's seven for sure. Damn. Where at? Down there by the dam on the other, other side of a paint. On the opposite side of the paint. Um, the, the one that I started in with there's, four with four boats. There's a new one in there? Yeah. No shit. Yeah. So I go back there to where... Um, see what his name Jay Shakuri started, and almost right by the bed where the, uh, one of the three and a half pounders was, there's like a three and three quarter maybe sitting up there. And I see it from a long ways away, and I skip a uh, trick stick up to it, and it like turns and acts interested to it, but it doesn't bite it. So I pick up the fighting frog, I pitch it up there to the seawall. And I'm shaking, and it goes up there to it, and it does something funny and starts swimming off it, and my line's going with it. I'm like, oh my gosh. So the hook missed it. It swims back up, and when it swims back up, it's got a seven pounder with it. And then they start rubbing, and like her tail's out of the water, mm -hmm. going like this. And then she goes down the seawall a little bit further and pairs up with another full pounder. And I'm like, oh my gosh. And then they start rubbing, so I start working that first one again. And it kind of acts interested, but won't bite. And then she comes back, and then he takes off and starts courting her again. <laughs> and and I can't get can't get them to settle down. So I, I come back around the corner. I find another pair. It's like a four-pound female and like a two-pound male. Same thing. They're rubbing, won't bite. So... And I think everybody kind of gave up on it over there. All right, day two here at Lay Lake. Um, you know, we're we're way down there. We're in the 80s, uh, dug ourselves a big hole. Um, but we're not that far. I mean, we're like, you know, two pounds, and two and a half pounds out of the, the, the cut. So not not crazy far down there, but we're, we're down there. Uh, so we gotta catch him today and, and jump up there in the top 50. And uh, 
and, and get back into this thing. Um, I think you know if we can catch 14 pounds, um, we'll probably be where we need to be. Uh, so we'll try to catch 16. If we can catch 16, we'll be just right. So that's the plan. 16 pounds. We're gonna change it up. Probably fish close here and then run way up that river and hopefully catch some bass. We fished down at that dam yesterday, we're gonna fish at that dam today. All right, here we are, day two. Uh, struggled yesterday big time. Didn't sleep much last night, it's crazy. The sport, you can have so much success one week and uh, feel like you're on the moon the next week. It was just uh, one of those days. Um, struggled through some adversity and uh, call us a limit, but they didn't weigh much, we're way down the pack. Um, saw a couple big ones rolling yesterday that had just moved up. So we're gonna fish a shad spawn in the morning, head on down, see if those will cooperate and just fish what the conditions give us today and see if we can catch a big bag and get back in it. Um, I think somewhere in that 15 pound range will, will get us close. So that's our goal for today. Hell, what it is? Big old spot. Let me get right there. Number one. That's a good deal. That's a good start. Hell yeah, dude! <laughs> I, mean, I didn't think it was that big. I, didn't I, I couldn't see it, but nice. You want to line about like nineteen pounds back here? Thank you. 
aggressive. Do that. <laughs> Mean the mean move. But if it's a big one, I'm either gonna land in that seat or that seat. Okay. Bassmaster Elite Series, but to keep this tournament going, you got to get inside the top 50. We have 104 anglers in. Is it gonna be close? Like how close? Very close. Huh? Very close. Everybody's pretty. Y'all are out. Where, 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 where does it happen? Your 10 ounces above 50. And I got maybe 13. We didn't lose one today. That's good. We caught every every cotton picking one that did. Whether they were that big or that big. <laughs> and I went back and caught the three pounder yesterday that I lost twice and broke off. Oh really? First thing this morning. If 
we could have got rid of this one, we would have been golden. Yeah. What's up, buddy? Already signed. No, no. Matt, we'll wait till you get finished. Okay. We'll wait till you get finished. Okay. Right here. Right here. Come on. Yeah. 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 To win just last year, he's also a former Dakota Lithium Rookie of the Year from Georgia, Drew Cook. At 8 pounds, 11 ounces yesterday, five fish to add to that here today. Looks like a better day today, 8, 11 yesterday. Let's get him inside that cut. 13 pounds even with 21 pounds, 11 ounces. He moves into 22nd place. And 21, 11 in 22nd place as we near the halfway point of our day two weigh-in. Yeah. 21 pounds, 11 ounces, sitting in 22nd place currently, and a bit of a rally helped you out. I just want to tell you a little story about this bass right here. This bass right here, I hooked twice yesterday and lost, and then broke him off yesterday, and I went back this morning, and I freaking got it. <laughs> it was... The biggest bass I caught all week, obviously, it was a three pounder, but uh, I, I still can't believe that, that I did that. It, um, you know, it was still a grind. I only caught like six fish, but um, God, I hope it's enough. I think it's gonna be just enough. I hope it's enough I get to go tomorrow. Save some points today. If I could get the opportunity to get some more points tomorrow, that's what I want. But um, either way, I can't complain with how yesterday went and how today went. I'm, I'm happy with it. I, uh, I ended up just taking a big bite stinky trick stick and sticking it in my hand and literally just fishing. I, uh, I didn't, didn't go run around a lot. I think that's what hurt me yesterday. So uh, we're going to go somewhere else tomorrow if we can make it. All right. Well, we'll try to fire through this way in, in a hurry and find out who makes it. Um, like right in the middle on the back row. Alright. <laughs> it's a warrior. <laughs> it's hard to remember where I parked between the two days. One, yeah. one even hot day. Yeah. This is the hottest it's been on us, really. Right. Yeah, that sun, sun come out, it got pretty warm. Two-time Elite Series champion took a win just two events ago from Panama City, Florida, Drew Benton. At six pounds, 12 ounces yesterday. Five fish here today. 12-4 to get inside the cut. 6-12 yesterday. Six twelve yes, a five fish here today. Twelve pounds and nine ounces inside the cut right now in 48th place with 19 pounds and five ounces. Unfortunately, too many anglers yet to weigh in for him to remain in that position, but a two-time Elite Series champion. 19-5 inside the cut for now, but we got a bunch of anglers still got a thing or two to say about that. Um, unfortunately, this one was one of those tough ones. It was, you know, it, I kind of went in damage control after uh, day one. I actually saw a couple giant ones up there on the uh, on the bank yesterday evening late and uh, was excited to get down there and look at them today and that, that water dropped for whatever reason. We had all that rain and I guess they sucked the bottom out of it because of that and they were all gone. So caught those and, and ran around, did the best we could and, uh, you know, I dropped like 
to 32nd in points from ninth after day one. So this, you know, definitely helped us in that situation. So we'll take it. All right, great to have you here. That sucks. Yeah. But I guess it's not hard. It was a grinder. I wear the same outfit and get the same Yep. All right, wrapping up here at Lay Lake. Uh, Weigh-in's still going on. I'm going to wind up somewhere in the 50s, which after day one, I was in 93rd. Um, fell from like ninth in AOI to 32nd, so we made up a lot of ground there. This week was a, a tough week. Couldn't really get anything figured out fishing. Um, looked a lot of practice, found some fish on bed. And one thing that's unique about the Coosa River, what I've learned over the years, is they, they fluctuate the water a lot, especially when you have storm systems roll in this time of year. And uh, I didn't get to start where I wanted to start on you know the first day, which kind of put me back a little bit. And uh, I saw a couple nice ones late in the day, so I was excited to get out there today. And when I rolled in there um, this morning, I saw it, the water had dropped you know another six or eight inches and those fish pulled off and didn't cooperate. But today, um, when I came back, I fished timber and little humps that came up and I was fishing for spotted bass. And these are my two weapons, uh, a big bite finesse worm, uh, I believe that's a, a six inch finesse worm, green pumpkin. Um, I put a little bit of chartreuse on the tail on an owner shaggy head. And that's the cliffhanger worm that, you know, I caught fish on at Murray on a drop shot. When I saw them suspended up in the timber, I'd flip that to them, they'd follow up down to the bottom and, and bite. But, uh, you know, I had 12 four today, had a couple four pounders. Um, well, one four pounder followed this in all the way to the boat. And then this morning I had a, a four to five pounder eat a swim jig and just not get it you know completely so either one of those two we'd have been in the cut so um to salvage the points for today was a uh, was a win Oh, you're good. I saw my tuck catch one right in here. Uh, there's some guys fishing this point and this point. There's timber on it. So, no shad spawn fish this morning. You had a five pounder come out and eat the back of my swim, swim jig and like turn sideways. And I saw it, but I had to try to pull on him. Yeah. And it, he didn't have it. He kind of Got it up from the other yeah. stop sign. Is that the only bite you have? Yeah. <laughs> no paparazzi. Really? Yeah. Did you get you more there? No. How you too, man? Okay, the week it is semi-final Saturday. Our scheduled takeoff time 6.30 this morning. Mm. Lisa Talmadge is right now going out with the state trooper to survey our... Oh, it's way farther than I thought. Yeah, I know. I know. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. Wrong time schedule, but we're going to check that out and get you going as soon as possible. Safety is always first here in the Bassmaster Elite Series. 50 anglers remain. Situation hopefully get you out as soon as possible. Going in hard. Yes, you are. Oh, yeah, I can't have Oh, 
such a big fish. A big bass. Good luck. Bye bye. Bye. The 2003 Classic Champion, 2006 Progressive Fast oh, Master Angler of the Year from Pittsburgh, New Jersey, Mike Iganelli. He's a lead series champion of former Dakota Lithium oh, rookie oh, of the year and Fast Master Classic qualifier, Drew Cook. Oh, go let me. What a giant. Holy cow. Just barely had him.
get out, but I'm in. Yeah. What is that, Finn? Fish. Big Fish. bass? Fish. Wow. <laughs> How many is that? Three. Goodness gracious. Yeah. Gotta get it there to the water, okay? Yes. Buddy? How did you do today? I did all right. Dakota Lithium Rookie of the Year. He is a former Elite Series champion from Georgia, Drew Cook. 21 pounds and 11 ounces as of this morning. Tried to steal a french fry from him at lunch, so we're just getting over that dispute. 21 pounds and 11 ounces as of this morning. Five fish here today. 11 pounds, two ounces, puts him in 26th place with 32 pounds and 13 ounces. Two pounds, 13 ounces, and a great tournament here this week when you look at how tough it was for so many. Yeah, still day one's gonna, gonna kill me. Uh, but, I mean, what I did yesterday didn't work today either. I had to scratch and, and you know, go do something else. I wish I'd have done it a little bit earlier because I caught a almost five pounder and a couple other ones. But uh, it could have been a lot worse. I can promise you that. I'm glad, hopefully we were able to get some points back today. It looks like what I did get back Cobb took so it uh you know he's having a great year can't complain I just want to be there and be talked about at the end of it having a great season and uh, you get to qualify for a day off tomorrow hang with the family uh, I'm fishing the open on Wheeler so I'm headed to Wheeler tonight okay, never mind the family enjoy yourself at the open he's a two time <laughs> who's that who's that who is that Tristan? Mm. Okay. All right, just wrapped up day three here at Lay Lake. Um, and I had 11 something today, so not a great day, but not a terrible day. Um, I don't know where we're gonna end up, but it's above 50th, so we gained some points uh, today. But uh, this week, I caught him on the uh, Big Bite Trick Stick um, and the new Big Bite uh, Cliffhanger Worm when, whenever I was, uh, you know, just throwing to the grass and, and live scoping uh, with the drop shot. I caught some on a Fighting Frog uh, the first day, but uh, besides that, everything came off those two days.